we are with the third video in our vbot ross two tutorial series so here till now we learnt about how to install different systems and we saw some examples of vbots i know you must be excited about the series so let's start with services so today we will start with what are ross 2 services then we will look at an implementation example and then we will look at difference between services in ROS and ROS2 and finally we will look at applications of services. So let's start. So this page is given by ROS2 publishers where this I will keep this in description. So here there is a very good pictorial representation of services in ROS2. So when you talk about services, it includes two things, request and a response. So there is a node who makes a service, which is called a server. And there is a node who uses that service that is known as client. So you see here, there is a message which is sent by client as a request to the server and server will compute the differences or will compute the stuff and give back as a response to the client. So this is how services work. So in this section, we will look at implementation of ROS2 services first with terminal. So today we are going to use this example, which is made by vbots ROS2 package and its package name is vbots ROS2 example. So today we will be looking at this scene and we will be using services to make the wheels move. First using terminal and second by making a Python client script. So first of all, we will launch this so that we can see the world. Before that, I would like to tell viewers that if you have not installed vbots ROS2 package, then view the video one of this series and after installing, you can continue the video. So I have a vbots ROS2 package in my ROS2 workspace. So let's see back. Now we will source this so new source install setup dot bash. So now this repository is sourced. So let's run this command. Let's copy this and paste and enter. So now we see our world is launched where we have a robot with two wheels. And let's learn something about services. So in ROS2, we have a command ROS2 service list. So if I enter all the services which are running currently are listed here. So today we will be using slash motor service to move the robot as in ROS1. Here we have ROS2 service call and we write our service name motor. And now usually this is the case where we don't know what is the message type of this service? So if I hit on double tab, I can see what options I can use. So if I click on W, so service type used for this motor service is vbots ROS2 message slash service slash set differential wheel speed. So let's take a real example where we don't know how this service is made or what are the requests and response of this service. For that, there is a command in ROS2 interface show vbots ROS2 service set differential wheel speed. So if I enter, we get to know what type of service it is. So here I know that in my request, I have a variable left speed, right speed, which takes float 64. And 
in my response i will not get anything because bef below these three lines there is a response tab where we have null now so let's do it again ros2 service call slash motor v bots ros2 services it detected it by itself because we gave the motor parameter and now it will accept the service in yaml format so we need to make a dictionary where left speed colon so here we'll give the value 0.5 comma right speed colon 0.1 let's give it uh, less so that it rotates and if i enter yeah so i see the service has been successfully used and you see robot has started moving so now our left wheel has speed 0.5 and right wheel has 0.1 to just have a sanity check let's give higher velocity so if i give one here its velocity started increasing and now you see it started turning faster we can use services from terminal so now we will look at second part where how we can run this service with a python script so for now let's stop the robot or else by the time we write our service its battery will go so yeah we stopped it so now let's have a look at basics of how to make a client so you see here there is a very good documentation done by ross where they show us how to make a service and a client so they start with creating a package making a custom service name updating package.xml this is same process which we do it in ross but here we have a change where we need to tweak setup.py which was not the case in ross there is a process where the service node is made this link will be given in the description you can look at how the service node is made it is similar to making a client code description and client node so this is a very good start to make a new service or a client today by the reference of this code we have made a service so i will walk you through the process how this service was made and also the process of how to tweak our setup.py and finally run this service so let's go through the code first first of all we import system we import rcl rcl pi this is for ros to python as this is in python we also import the message type which is made by vbot ros to message and a node so quickly here we can go through main first and then we can see how the class is made so initially we pass arguments on terminal that is why we are importing sys here where we can use the arguments of terminal in the code we made an object of class service node velocity and we ran a function client request where our service is been called this while loop basically does nothing but stops till we get the response from the service so it spins till the object lasts and now here we have an if condition that if i get a response i go into this loop so if i get a response from service i make a response variable which will be equal to client well which is an object of service node dot response which is this because this is a part of service class so client well dot service dot result so here i will save it in response and if i get an error we print the error saying service call failed and if it gets succeeded we just print the do will so this is how we can access 
a variable inside a class so client well is an object of class service node well dot value here dot value is differential wheel speed which is the service type dot left speed is the left speed which we set and dot right speed is the right speed and then once we get some response we break the while loop and we destroy our node and we shut down this is how it will work so now quickly let's go through the class so by the explanation of main most of you must have understood that what this class is doing so we have init function of our class here we make a node named service node well we create a client to service motor which we saw in the terminal then we wait till we get the service motor so you see this command this while loop will run and ping every one second and check is the motor service available once it's available it will make a variable named set differential wheel speed dot request because here you can also have set differential wheel speed dot response but in our case our response is null so now we have all the required ingredients to finally cook the soup so let's go to the client request function so here we use our variable value dot left speed and set it to first argument which we pass from terminal and set right speed with the second argument which we pass from the terminal and by using this we call our service client dot call asynchronous bracket self dot value so here we send the service and we get the response so this is all about the class now quickly let's do it on terminal but before that i know i made this mistake many times as being a ros user we don't have anything like setup.py in our ros so here this package is made by vbots ros2 example so they have all their package details here but we need to make sure that if we make a new node inside our python we need to add this line in our endpoint where we need to name our service client as service node well equal to vbots ros2 example dot so this is the folder name where my uh, service will be where my node will be found and dot this is my python file name so if you see here my python file is named as service node well dot py i will show you the folder structure where this is made if i show you ros2 workspace source vbots ros2 so we are using vbots ros2 example and inside vbots ros2 example we have vbots ros2 example one more folder and here we have service node well which is exactly what we are writing in our setup where it is vbots ros2 example dot service node well dot py so you need to take care of your folder structure if you are directly making your python file inside your package you will not have this value you will directly have it service node underscore well dot py once you add this line you will need to call con build your package again so i can do call con build this is a way where it will build your complete package so we have a shortcut if we just want to build our our package we can have dash dash packages dash select and the package name which we want to build so if i enter it will build the package and again source install setup dot bash so now i sourced my package and let's run it so ros2 run vbots ros2 underscore example and if i tap on s it auto completes so service underscore node underscore well is the node which we made and now 
before that we will see that our, our robot is in power saving mode where it's standing so let's make it work so if i give one comma one it will start moving straight so you will see here i our service went through and robot is going straight i think if i give zero comma zero robot stopped so this proves that our python script is working fine and this is how you can make client and you can have intricate conditions where if those satisfy you can move your robot so these are the two ways how you can use services first being with terminal and second being by making a ROS2 client so in this section we will look at differences between ROS services and ROS2 services so in ROS services we may have conflict or collision between the names of services and messages on the other hand in ROS2 they are namespaced so there is guaranteed no collision second difference being if you make a service or a client server in python you don't need to initialize it in ROS1 in ROS2 you need to initialize these scripts in setup.py third difference is in ROS1, services are synchronous. That means the code will wait till it gets the response or failure. On the other hand, in ROS2, services are asynchronous. And lastly, ROS services and ROS params cannot be tweaked by each other in ROS1. But in ROS2, you can even tweak your parameters by services. So now we will talk about applications of services in ROS2. So you, if you see this robot, this is a complex system and you cannot get away with just subscribers and publishers to make this robot. So to enable the camera in the robot or to enable actuators, you need services. To dynamically reconfigure the world, you need services. Services is a good choice if you want to set parameters which will not tweak more often. To reset the simulation or swap the model in the simulation, your service are great deal. So in this video, we started with what are services, then we saw the implementation and now we are seeing the applications. So this was all about today's video. Hope you liked and learned about services in ROS2. We will come back with many more videos soon. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.